Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got a short video today on a Goodman package unit and an interesting failure that had happened. So, it's been cold lately, and the complaint was no heat. The compressor, everything would come on, run for a little bit, then the whole unit would shut down, <clears throat> and it would take about five minutes or so, and it would come on, do the whole mess all over again. So, I got out to the unit, <clears throat> and, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, what's what's going on here? I don't, uh, the compressor's running fine, pressures are good, you know, it's not like the high pressure limit is tripping or anything. So, I pull the controls apart, and I manually jump the uh, emergency heat or auxiliary so your thermostat say you got it set for 70 degrees and it's 69 in the house well if the continue if the temperature continues to fall <clears throat> say it falls to 68 because it's so cold outside the thermostat will call for auxiliary heat to help supplement the heat pump so that's what this wire is for. So emergency heat is defrost heat when the package unit or heat pump goes into defrost. It'll energize the coils to still give you some heat while the unit's defrosting. <clears throat> so when I made when I hooked my alligator clip to it from the red to the white, it made my wire start smoking. So there was a heavy, heavy amp draw. I had the my amp meter hooked to the wire. Amperage spiked wire started smoking so I immediately pulled my wire off man what the heck's going on here well what had happened is the contactor for the heat strips the coil on the low voltage side had failed and it was a dead short so every time the thermostat would call for the heat strips it would be a dead short which would pull the voltage down, the transformer voltage, would, it would pull down to zero because it's a dead short. At that point, <clears throat> the thermostat thought there was a power failure and would shut the whole system down. And it goes into compressor protect mode like it's supposed to. So it would just repeat this over and over and over, okay? Ended up damaging the thermostat. Um, I had to replace the thermostat too. But my question is, this is factory. Nobody's ever messed with this. It's a 2017 unit. There's no fuse for the low voltage side. I'm used to there either being a fuse somewhere in line or a fuse on the control board. Something that fuses this in case you have a problem like a coal shorting or something like that. It'll pop the fuse, little 3 amp fuse, okay? Well, it doesn't have one. And it's not just a defect, because the unit I'm talking about all these problems happened on, is on that unit over there I fixed yesterday. This is another unit. It's an identical unit. Um, you know, the landowner bought all these units at the same time, had them all replaced. So this is the second unit I'm opened up now and see the same problem. Um, and of course, today's problem was same thing. The coil didn't fail with the, with a shorted coil, but the coil did fail. They're old. So time I replaced both contract contactors. <clears throat> but what I did over there and what I'm going to do over here, just went by the auto parts store, just picked up a cheap fuse holder. It ain't got to be nothing heavy duty because you're only going to limit this to three amps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two terminals off of here and I'm going to put the fuse holder directly, I'm going to put it on here first and then add these two wires afterwards. Because my thing is, you know, what if the thermostat would have not been set to, you know, compressor protect mode and every time, you know, this kicked on created a dead short yeah this would drop to zero 
bolts, which would shut everything down. But then as soon as the power came back up, it would, it would call again, you know, and it'd be a real fast, I would assume would be a real fast repetition. In other words, how long would it have taken that dead short to burn something up in here or burn up this thermostat wire or whatever? It's going to destroy something. So I'm not really sure why these units did not come with an inline fuse on the low voltage side. But I'm going to add one. And I think that um, if you've got a Goodman unit and either you're capable of checking this yourself or have your AC technician come out and do it, I think it's very cheap insurance to put one of these in. You know, like I said, that house over there, I had to replace the thermostat because it, it messed it up. Um, so, you know, there's... 60 bucks right there just for the parts um you know so this was five bucks at the parts store so let me hook this up real quick and i'll show you what it looks like all right guys there it is pretty simple let's put a spade connector on that end i just took these cut the ends off and put a crimp cap on it and now you can know that if anything ever shorts out in the future on the low voltage side, it's going to pop this fuse like it should instead of creating a dead short on the low voltage side. <clears throat> so that's it. Just wanted to show y'all. Have a good one.